So what is the Institutional Review Board and, or, you know, ethics boards or ethics committees in science? So this is a really important thing that happens in science. And a lot of people don't understand that this actually happens, that um, before your scientific work is ever accomplished, you often have to get ethics approval or IRB approval, Institutional Review Board uh, approval before you can actually execute on your scientific study. Um, and it generally is that if you are interacting with anybody or anything, um, you know, other than sort of secondary data, it generally is, and even se some secondary data, um, you have to have a conversation with the eth ethics board um, to see if your work is 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 good enough to be done. And so what they're trying to do, imagine, you know, scientists are curious minds, right? And researchers, ask, academics are curious minds. And they often have all sorts of really interesting ideas. And, and then when they sort of go to implement them, they have these interesting experiments. They're like, hey, we're going to do this particular thing. And then because, you know, we're scientists and researchers, we often don't think about the ethical implications of what we're trying to do, right? And that's that's true. That's like true of everybody. It, 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 we have to sort of get a second opinion <clears throat> to understand whether what you're do, doing, excuse me, I'm, a bit of, uh, I, I'm just coming off of a pretty wicked um, bout of, of, I think I had that RSV, but it's 2022, and... Um, it was pretty sick for a few days. So, all right. So basically, you know, you have these ideas, you send it to the Institutional Review Board, they go through it. It's usually a committee of different representatives across the university that vet and understand um, the ins and outs of, of scientific research, but also ins and outs of the sort of ethical implications of what you're doing. So they uh, very often will, uh, um, uh, you know, prevent research from, from ever being done. They very often ask for recommendations to uh, change your research plan. They very often, you know, just make sure what they're doing is they're making sure that you are doing everything to protect the safety of the people that are involved. And that's for all parties, right? So they are looking out for the university and making sure that there's not a lawsuit that's going to happen. They're looking out for the scientists and researchers to make sure that they are not a, a lawsuit or they're going to do something that's a little sketch. And they're looking out for all of the, the possible subjects. Maybe you're doing work on, on humans, for example, and you're interacting with them. Well, they need to make sure that those people are protected. There has been some sketchy science that has happened in the past. It's not to say that the science was not valid. It's not to say that the science didn't sort of progress things, but there has been sketchy science. And everybody is well aware of all of that sketchy science. A lot of that stuff that happened, you know, basically before institutional review boards were common, um, a lot of the science, some of the science was really sketch. Right. So if you look at the stuff before, oh, about the 1960s, and I'm assuming in, in 100 years from now, people were saying, oh, that stuff in, in 2022 was really sketchy, too. But, you know, this sort of goes with the times. But if you look back like 50 years ago and look at some of the scientific stuff that was allowed, uh, there's no way that that would be done today. There was absolutely no way that that would be ever done. Um, there's there's like famous ones like the Milgram experiments. Um that's where somebody um, was pretending to shock somebody else to the point that they um, didn't appear that they were alive. And it a really famous experiment, sort of learned a lot about human behavior. And, and this was just after the aftermath of the Second World War and trying to explain, like, how are people just so damn cruel? Right. Um, during the Second World War. And, and you know, we discover that, that that people conform. Right. Like it was all about conformity and um, doing things that you're told. And we understand that, hey, people will go a long ways if they're just being told by an authority figure. But given that, did that outweigh the risk 
um, uh, of that. And it's considered extremely unethical to do anything like that today. And, you know, I just can't see that ever happening. It would have to be under some really tight con considerations for that to ever happen in the future, but I just don't see that ever happening at a university. So what I'm getting at is what happens is that the Institutional Review Board is, and I don't know the ins and outs, I'm not perfect. You have to ask them. You have to, um, you know, vet your work. There's usually some sort of web portal that you put your work in and it's a whole gripping process. It's a lot of work. Um, and you put in all of this information about the project and what you're doing and it's really in depth and then you send it off to them. They review it, it might come back to you, and then it goes back again, and then they review it again, and then they say whether that this is appropriate or not. And I personally have had stuff rejected, um, and it was really like, oh, this is not, it, it, it doesn't seem that scary, but you know, that they're very concerned about it. Um, and you know, many different ways that people are very concerned, and you, you might be, cognizant or you might think like hey that's being very conservative yes they have to be very conservative and yes it does stop some research that otherwise would be good and would understand about the world a lot um but that's the whole point right is to prevent some things that yes we can understand and there's going to be sort of a, a a really good understanding about the world um, but does it warrant the cost of the dangers that are associated with it, right? And it's sort of like the, um, you know, it's, it's like any, it's like a, a, the same debate that you might have with like medicine, for example, right? So all medicine has, um, pros and cons, right? They all have some sort of efficacy that's associated with it, but they all have adverse events that are, um, or adverse effects that are associated with it. And you have to balance what is it, um, is the, the benefit that you get, is it, is it warrant the cost? Um, and that's what they're essentially thinking on the other side. And generally they're pretty conservative on the other side. And here's the thing, this is what happens with institutional review board, um, you know, or ethics board, whatever country that you're in. Oh, by the way, I want to talk about that for a minute. And I don't think I did already, but you know, this is the thing with institutional review boards is that they will push you to actually do better science, right? So um, they're just another vet. Um, so the scientific effort is just incredibly vetted, right? Like everybody gives you feedback from all sorts of dimensions. And so then it's another way that you're getting, you know, pushback. And then you have to be clever and think of a way to, to get around that. So this is what I want to talk about um, across the world, right? Um, so ethics committees and their sort of strictiveness, I guess, or the rigorousness and all of that, they vary very much um, across. So I think in most American universities, they're pretty consistent, but you know, there is a lot of variance between them as well. Um, and it just depends on the university that you're in, but also massive differences between countries in terms of what their expectations are. I have colleagues around the world um, and I've had conversations you know, brief conversations about this. Um, and there's there's quite a bit differences in terms of how these ethics uh, committees are done, um, how quickly they, they get carried out, what is allowed. Like some things, um, I believe my institution is particularly strict. Um, so a lot of things that I would not be able to do here are allowed in other places, in other countries. And I'm like, okay, well, that's good go do that stuff in your other country. But, um, you know, I still think that there is some some merit um, to, to having some strictness with that, just to protect everybody. Um, so with that, this is how I would sort of think about institutional review boards and what to do. Just have open conversations with them, right? Like that's the end goal. Do, do them, like when you do it and you go through it, do all the paperwork. But then realize, just give yourself plenty of time. Like, give yourself six months of, like, this is going to take six months. If it doesn't take six months, great. But imagine it's going to take you six months to get this damn thing done through the Institutional Review Board. Start super, super early. And then what's going to happen is that, yes, it will actually take six months. Because what's going to happen, I mean, it's just like anything, right? Like, all things, if you didn't realize it should take six months, you should, like, count on that. 
So what's gonna happen is you're gonna send it off. Um, it's gonna take a month before they even look at it, you know, and then they look at it, they meet, and then it's gonna come back to you. You gotta do some things. And it's gonna take another month. You know, it just takes time um, because you gotta get put in queues and like, it just takes time. Expect it to take time and um, be okay with that. Give yourself plenty of time and then just work with them, right? Um, there's only been one case in my time of working that I'm like, I don't agree with that decision that's happened. Um, but yeah, you know what? That's that's it. They're the determining body in that. So I can't really have any sort of say in that. Um, and then, you know, we did try to quote unquote fight it, right? And and go through and go through a couple of meetings and things and something didn't work out. Um, so, you know, just try to work with them is what I'm saying. And they're not scary and, and just try to be flexible in terms of how you're thinking. All right, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.